Hello YouTube, this is Frank from Happy Coder, and today in this video I would like to talk to you guys about how to construct a very simple HTTP server on your machine using either Python or Node.js. A lot of the times when you're using your favorite code editor or IDE, they came with their own built-in web servers. However, these built-in web servers occasionally wouldn't let you load your web app because of some of the violation of the security protocols. Another way of quickly testing your web application is by simply double-clicking on the index.html file. However, if you're testing your web application using this method, because if you have some asynchronous calls in your code, your web application still wouldn't be served properly. Fortunately, because of the sheer number of built-in modules for Python, and thanks to the NPM, the Node Package Manager for Node.js, these two languages, they come in with their own HTTP server modules. And now let's go and take a look at how to use these two languages and the two modules to construct a very simple web server. Now let's take a look at how to use the two modules from Python 3 and JavaScript's Node.js respectively to deploy a very simple HTTP server and the material that we'll be working with is a very simple web page that only has an index.html and a whole bunch of images that are being linked into this HTML file. And now first let's take a look at how to use Python 3's HTTP server module to construct a HTTP server. So in order to do that we first need to go into the directory that has all the source materials, all the source files that we'll be working with. And before we begin, let me show you how simple this web application is. If you want to preview the product that you're working on during the development phase, you can simply preview the site by double clicking on the HTML file. However, for the sake of demonstration, let's assume that this web application has some functionalities that calls for the use for a HTTP server. So to use the Python 3's HTTP server module, we're going to launch a terminal in this directory. And the terminal shell that I'll be working with is called Hyper. In terms of functionality, it is equivalent to the uh, Windows 10's own terminal shell. However, it has a very nice functionality which allows us to launch the terminal right within this directory. So within the interface, uh, since Python is a very uh, better included language, mean to, meaning it has a lot of the most basic functions, meaning it ships a lot of the most commonly used modules within the installation. Launching the HTTP server module is as simple as typing the command python-m and http.server. And with that command, you can see that our HTTP server has successfully launched at the localhost 8000 port. So if we launch the web browser and go to localhost 8000, we can see that within this terminal, we, we get a uh, 200 success information and our uh, web page has been successfully served. And we can see that all the uh, the links work and if we refresh the page we get another you know 300 levels success message and this time around if we close the terminal which in turn shuts down the server if we now refresh the page again we can see that you know the, the page is no longer being served and with that out of the way let's now take a look at how to use Node.js's HTTP server module to achieve the same result. And first we need to make sure that we have the uh, HTTP server module installed via NPM as a globally accessible package. Let's now make sure that we have that package installed. So if we type in the command npm list uh, global packages and specify the depth at the zero level, we can see that currently we do not have the HTTP server module within our global package directory. So the first thing we're going to do is obviously to install the HTTP server module as a globally accessible package. So we do that by typing npm install dash g HTTP dash server. And after the installation process has been completed, if we run the same command, 
to check if we have the HTTP server module within our global packages. We can see that indeed we have this HTTP server module installed in our packages. So the way we're going to call the HTTP server module to serve our site is going to be a little bit different from how we use the, uh, the Python's module. Uh, we're going to type in the command HTTP-server and then we're going to follow it up by typing the full path of the root directory to our web application. And after we have hit return, we can see that a HTTP server has been successfully constructed. We can access the web page by visiting the localhost 8080 port. So now let's go ahead and do that. Localhost 8080. And we can see that, again, a whole bunch of success messages. And voila, our web page has been successfully served. And once again, if we close the terminal window, which discontinues the server, if we refresh the page, we can see that the HTTP server is no longer there. All right, guys, so those are the two ways of using either Python or Node.js to construct a very simple HTTP server on your machine. I hope you found this video to be informative. And if this is the first time you're on this channel, me and Mary, we do a lot of Python or JavaScript programming. If you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel. And we will see all of you in next week's video. Bye bye.